Hi, this is Steve with Nate Family Lights. If you're new, welcome. If you're not, welcome back. In today's video, I wanna cover how I designed and built my custom window pixel props. These were originally designed and built in 2017 and have been working great for the last six years, going on seven years. For each of your home shows, your windows are gonna be custom. And so this should give you some ideas on how you can design and build yours. This is gonna be a two part video I'll start with the physical build, including all the parts used and how the window props are wired. And then I'll show how I attach these window frames to my house. In the second part, I'll show my show layout and how they're wired from the controller to the window frames. And I'll also show how I modeled these windows in X lights. This channel is dedicated to helping you with your light show. So if you find this content useful, hit the like and subscribe buttons so you don't miss any of my future content. Now let's get right to it. What's really neat about these window frames is that in addition to the outline, I have a line in the middle, vertically and horizontally, which make it look like that there are mullions there. So it looks like a four paned large window. The funny thing is my real windows don't have those same mullion lines. There's actually a six pane window at the top and on the bottom. So they don't line up during the day, but at night, you never know the difference. It does add a lot of interesting opportunities to do sub models for both three vertical lines, three horizontal lines, uh, a whole window with something in the middle. You, know, you could add another prop in there, which is really nice as well. The lines work out great for me. And it's kind of like a small four-armed spinner as well. Let's talk about materials used. First, a bunch of half-inch Schedule 40 PVC. This is the same PVC that was used in all the arches. In addition, there are a number of half inch PVC tees, again, same as the arches. I also have 90 degree angle brackets. And in some cases I use the coupler for these half inch PVC. And it's easy to just get the whole bunch in a pack. So I have a pack of 30 here of the 90 degree elbows and I have a 15 pack of the tees. So you get these in bulk, then you can use them throughout all your props. Also used is the four millimeter Coro. This is Coro trim from Boscoyo. This is nice as it has a place for the pipe to go on one side or your frame, and then the pixels can be on the other side. So that way the back of the pixels, the wiring uh, doesn't get uh, in the way with the pipe. You get that in white. You can also get it in black. So if your window uh, frames, you wanna do it in black, you can do that. There are newer products that they have made out of ABS plastic. Those would work just fine. And there's other vendors that also sell uh, Coro trim products, which would probably also work as well. Um, this is the, um, the Boscoyo uh, Megatree original strip. This comes in, I think like seven foot lengths. It happens to be one roll with holes every inch. And these little holes on the side, which are nice for small zip ties. And I use this for the centerpiece of the window frames. Last but not least, you're gonna need a bunch of zip ties. So I have a bunch of these white uh, four inch zip ties. They're nice and small and they're easy to, uh, to use with the uh, Coro trim. And I also have some black ones as well, just not here with me. Okay, here is one of the single windows and it is just about 48 and a half inches tall from the, from the bottom all the way up to the top. And you can see I've got the Coro trim, the white pieces on the outside. There's one, two, three, four pieces. And then I'm using the Boscoyo uh, Megatree strips running through here in the middle. I'll get a closer look at this so you can take a look. As far as pixels and pixel spacing, it's 13 pixels across. If I count from the one right below the top, it is 15 pixels vertically down towards here. Another 13 across the bottom and then 15 back up. And it's important to have an odd number of pixels because I wanted to make sure I had a pixel in a corner and I also had a pixel in the center. So with an odd number, you can have one right in, immediately in the middle and then also in the corner. Same thing vertically with 15 pixels. I have a pixel right here in the center that can then run across. Again, that odd number is important. And then with the spacing of every three inches, I'm able to run across the top. The spacing here isn't quite three inches, it's two inches but I did want to make sure I had a pixel in the corner. All right, now I'll bring it in a little closer to take a look. 
Also look at the front. See the Coro trim is just zip tied to the PVC and I will show the back here in a minute. Center. So go ahead and move on down. You can see at the center piece on the front, I have four zip ties that's connecting the vertical in the middle. And as I, if I follow this straight down to the bottom, see it there, it's a corner and then I'll work my way back up. Okay, let me turn it around so you can see what the back looks like. All the pixels and wiring and all the window frames are the same. I have an incoming pigtail and an outgoing female pigtail. And with all my props, I like the power balance. So off the V plus and the V minus, on the incoming pigtail, I have two wires that are spliced in and they're running across and they're connecting to the last pixel. From the incoming pigtail, the first pixel actually isn't in this corner, it's down here. So I have a set of wires that are connecting the V plus, V minus, and the data line to the first pixel. And it's not the outside pixel, it's one in from the outside. And that's so I can have a continuous run of pixels coming around this outside frame. So I start here, I go straight across, I run down, come straight across the bottom, straight up around the top, Again, straight across to the corner there, and then back down here. And that completes my window outline. From here, I have a set of wires that are spliced, and you can see this wire here on the outside. It's kind of tucked in the corner, and it comes all the way down to the bottom, and connects to this pixel here that's running up from the middle. It's gonna run up here to this point here. And since we have this horizontal run, that has a pixel already in the middle, I had to add, cut and add some wiring to then jump this to this pixel here, and then it finishes right up here. So I'll get you a little closer so you can see what these splices look like. Right, here we are up close, here's the incoming pigtail. You can see the splicing, that's for the power balancing. And these are the three wires that go to the first pixel. Run down, and you'll see that we are now spliced to the first pixel. So this is the back of the prop. It's going from left to right from the front of the pixel. So we're going across. Coming, connecting straight down. Running this way across the bottom. Back up. And you can see here, even though I have splices there, it's continuous. Continuing to run across here. Coming back down. And once we get to this pixel here on the right side, looking at the front of the frame, it connects to this extension, which is tucked in around the corner. Comes around. And we are connected here to this bottom vertical. You run up. And here's the extension. Here's the last pixel at the top. There is one more hiding behind there, which is from the horizontal run. This is the last one, and you can see the power balance wires here, and then it wiring goes out to the pigtail going out. Flipping this back around. If we were to follow this, here's the incoming pigtail, which is going to come in from another area. Here's the first pixel, and it's going to run across, goes down, around, up, over, down to here, and then it jumps to the bottom, to this pixel here, comes up, and then it jumps that one to here, and it finishes here, and then goes to the output pigtail. Now in two places on my house, I have two windows that are close to each other. So what I built was a double window. The measurements for this is the same as a single window, except it's twice the size. And I'm sharing a common uh, frame here. 
This prop is actually a single prop that I carry around to store it and put it all up all at once. So it's two windows all in one. The number of pixels for each window is still the same, even though it's a single prop. And just like the single windows, I just have a T with a little arm extension, and that's just sitting right on top of the window shutters. Go to the middle here, you can see what the back looks like. So instead of a T going out to a little arm for a single window, it's just a T connecting to the rest. And on the bottom of this, I have both core trim pieces zip tied to that middle piece. The wiring for the double window is the same as two single windows just mashed together. And because of that, there's no pigtail from the first window going to the second window. They're just connected directly. So we have a pigtail here on the right. Incoming, it goes down to this centerpiece. So the first pixel on the double window prop starts here, runs across, goes down, around, up, around, and then finishes on this side. And it jumps through the wiring down to this pixel here, it runs up, skips over, and then it finishes here. Once we get to here, there's an extension wire that goes across, down, and then to this pixel here. So for window two of the double window, it starts here, runs across, goes down, around, it goes up on this side, around, down, and then it gets extended through a wire to this bottom pixel, runs up, finishes there, and then there's an extension cable that goes across to here. And like all of my props, this also is power balanced. Just from this end on the outgoing pigtail to the beginning pigtail. So I mentioned using the PVC arms that stick out here for the uh, windows that sit on the shutters. That works for the lower level windows what I found out was when I tried to do the same technique on the upper windows, the shutters were actually sitting in a different place from the windows. So I wasn't able to inset the frame a little bit into the window area to then set the PVC piece onto the shutters. And because of that, I had to build this little wooden frame. So let me show you that real quick. I have a, a two by two running across the whole length and then another piece down here to space it just right. And when I get up on the upper windows, I can set this on top of the shutters. And then I use a screw and I screw it right down into the wooden shutter. And I'll show you what it looks like on the right side. Same thing. Here's the back and I'm actually looking underneath it because I wanted to show how I did this offset. So it's just some of the bar stock. This is the same aluminum bar stock that I used for the controller enclosures to build the offsets for the power supplies. That same bar stock is used here and I just drilled a hole here to screw it into this piece of wood. And then I screwed a hole here to go into the PVC. So I have a bar support there and another bar support on the right side. For the double windows, I just have a longer piece of two by two with four of these arms that stick out and support the window frame with offsets and screws to go into the shutters up there. The nice thing is I don't have to worry about if it's gonna be super windy, having those upper windows falling out. Well, that wraps up the first part of how I built and made my custom window pixel props. Hopefully that gave you some ideas on how you could make your own. In the part two, I'll cover how I physically wired the windows from the controllers, including power injection, and also how I modeled these windows in X-Lights. Until then, we'll see ya.